Hey there, Tubies. Welcome back to 2230. We are super excited to dive into this topic with you. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. We love creating content for you and appreciate your support. Let's get started. Fairprice could have taken several measures to avoid this incident. Firstly, they could have ensured that their staff members were properly trained on cultural sensitivity and inclusivity. This would have educated their employees about the diversity of their customers, emphasized the importance of treating all customers with respect and equality, and how to interact with customers in a way that is respectful and inclusive. Secondly, Fairprice could have provided clear guidelines to their employees on how to handle situations where customers may have different cultural or religious backgrounds. This would have ensured that their staff members had a better understanding of the different customs and practices of their diverse customer base and how to provide assistance or services that are culturally sensitive and respectful. The incident itself involved a couple encountering a staff member at Fairprice who allegedly made racist remarks when the couple attempted to collect free snacks for Muslim customers during Ramadan. The staff member reportedly told the husband that the snacks were not for India and repeatedly insisted that they go away. The husband tried to explain that the snacks were for all Muslims and pointed out that not all Malays are a Muslim and some Indians can be Muslim too. Despite this, the staff member continued to display a lack of understanding of the cultural diversity of Singapore, and the couple were left feeling shocked and disappointed. This incident highlights the importance of cultural sensitivity and inclusivity in the workplace and the need for businesses to recognize and respect the diversity of their customers. In Singapore, where there are many different ethnicities and religions, businesses need to be aware of the cultural sensitivities of their customers and employees and strive to create an environment that is inclusive and respectful. By promoting cultural sensitivity and inclusivity, Fairprice could have avoided this incident and helped to build a more harmonious and inclusive society in Singapore. Thanks for tuning into this response video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest reactions and responses, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, I love reading your comments and feedback.